Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show a few things. Um, it's going to be quite a short video, but I'm, I'm going to cover a, a, a few pieces just as sort of introductory, really. I've got a simple map open here to topographic in ArcGIS Pro 242. And uh, what I'm going to show is the Living Atlas, add it, adding some data from the Esri um, ArcGIS online store onto, onto this uh, uh, map, uh, a bit of arcade script, uh, and just a um, bit of thematics. So what I will do is go to add data. This is where you get to the Living Atlas. Um, if you haven't heard of the Living Atlas data sets, you will have very shortly. So I click on add data to the map. And now I click on Living Atlas on the left hand side. A whole list appears of data I can add. There's all kinds of, there's terrain, 3D, um, uh, 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 traffic, that sort of thing. But if you look on the right here, it says categories. And, the, and a good one to click on is trending. Current events, obviously, we're, we, we're going to get into the world of COVID-19 there, and actually that's what I'm going to display on the map. Uh, or you can go to new and noteworthy. Uh, but you can see there's lots of others to click on. So do click through those. It's There's a lot of great data there to, to use in, in your maps um, about a whole variety of, of subjects. Um, observational data, habitat, all, all kinds. So if I click on new and noteworthy, I'll just um, sort by name here, and you can see there's a lot of population stuff. There's COVID-19 as expected, that's what I'm after here. There's Netherlands data, uh, a few other countries. Uh, what I'm gonna go for is the Public Health England data uh, for, for COVID-19, um, broken up by local authority. So all I do is select that, press OK, and that data will be coming through onto my map and there you have it so it's polygon these are these are sort of uh, authority areas um, and when I click on a boundary I'll get uh, for Hertfordshire uh, 2680 cases uh, far too many um, and there's Surrey the county of Surrey 2786 so you can see how I've I've got these um, this data but but it's just come in as a simple polygon how can I take advantage of of the data I've got and make a, a more uh, useful more practical map well you could click on the um, symbology double click on the graphic or I can right click sorry right click on the layer name and go to symbology for a thematic map and what I'll do is I, I've, I can do all sorts of, uh, this isn't a thematic le map lesson, but there's all sorts of types here for you, for you to go through. I'm just going to go into graduated colours, i.e. for the field that um, is uh, total cases, I want it to shade this by a, uh, with a colour. Uh, I'll just set the colour scheme, let's just go to red, let's set, for example, so it's a bit more, so the map's a bit more meaningful now, you can see that's a thematic map going on there in ArcGIS Pro. As you saw, it's very easy to do, um, you know, it was just a right hand mouse click and symbology, and then I, then I have many, many settings here, I'm not, I'm not going to go through them all, there's, there's a huge number of all kinds of um, uh, values, and uh, we can alter all sorts of parameters. You might want to see through uh, to the map underneath so you could just click on the layer uh, go to appearance the appearance tab and use the slider and then I can see through the map underneath so that's how you would add a transparency but you can you can do the transparency as well as a sort of per um, symbol basis you know so if I double click on the red for example I could set it to exactly what I wanted it could be a completely different color but but like I said I don't want to go into that right now 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 that I've done that what I'd like to do is um, put a simple label on here uh, showing the value of total cases so because we've got this sort of legend here so what I'll do is go to label properties there we go labeling properties on the right hand um, click and here we have a sort of expression builder uh, the FID is just a unique identifier. Let's delete that. Let's go for total cases. And you can see it writes an expression here um, with the language Arcade selected. So Arcade is, is just a another uh, scripting language you can use in ArcGIS Pro and, and other places um, to, to build expressions, bit code, scripting, 
uh, sort of um, things such as customizing labels is good for that and various um, expression uh, filters and that sort of thing um, there's the but there's the usual you know python uh, javascript and vb script that's still there i'm just going to use arcade because um, I'm just using it more and more that's all it's usually Python that I go for so it's just two uh, total cases so um, we'll apply that but just because we applied it nothing nothing draws because labeling isn't actually turned on so you go right and click and you'll see enable la labeling so I click on that and then we get our um, actual numbers so you can see uh, the red we put the label on top that's fine uh, so we're certainly getting a more um, sort of powerful um, unfortunately powerful uh, map what I can um, uh, and what I thought I'd finish off with this video so uh, is actually a bit more on the arcade side so let's say if I want to customize these labels um, sort of with my own little classification in, a, in an expression in this box so I can do that with um, an expression such as this so I can say if the total cases is greater than 3,000 on a per feature basis, that's what that dollar feature means for each feature, uh, then just put high, use high. Um, I've used the word number 3,000, that's purely because I've just chosen it myself, no real scientific reason behind that. So I press apply and sure enough it now just says high on the, um, on the real sort of higher area, so that's 3,006. 4,308, 3,098. So you can see how it's it's done that. But what if I still want the other labels, but I'd like them to sort of uh, drop into the background a bit? Well, here's one I did earlier, little arcade expression. Um, and it, honestly, it's not as complex as you might think, but it, it and it's it's quite straightforward. Um, so what I'm do I've just expanded on what I just did. So I'm still saying if it's greater than 3,000. I'd like high but this little bit here uh, changes the font size to 15 and indeed I can set color as well in there uh, using CLR I, I look that up in the um, Arches Pro documentation in arcade documentation I won't go into all, all of that right now I'm just showing you the basics of getting going um, particularly with this um, if if statement conditional statement so if it's over 3000 um, uh, you return high 15 point font so it's pretty big so you can see it's very sort of you see this sort of html style um, end tag there else because you see how we've got high at the moment we've got nothing else written else with a smaller font size just 10 just put the number of total cases the little arrow is to verify and that verifies it expression is valid map is not changed because we have to hit apply so hit apply, that runs, and then sure enough, we get our labeling. So now we have this custom labeling. Uh, so two classes almost going on here. There are other ways of doing this. I'm just showing you, I'm just doing this as an intro into arcade scripting. As you can see, lots of fun functions and we can do all kinds of stuff. Um, but uh, uh, but very powerful and very easy as you can, as you can see. If you want to uh, export this, send it to someone else that's what the right arrow is for to export and when it exports it it actually creates a I've got one here somewhere uh, well this is what it creates is just a text file uh, with an LXP uh, extension file extension uh, as you can see it's exactly the same um, so it's, it's just raw script in the LXP file but you can email that or send that to someone or share it um, or what have you Anyway, I hope that's useful to you. So there's a bit on there about adding um, a uh, uh, living atlas, which is where I got this COVID data from. Uh, there's a bit of thematics and labeling, uh, basic labeling, but with a bit of arcade script as well, all in Arches Pro 242. And I'll probably, and I will be expanding um, on this to dive a bit uh, deeper into arcade and, and some um, other the thematics such as um, multivariate thematics that sort of thing so so those videos are coming i hope that helps thank you very much